Captain Quinn here. Uh, welcome to my new series, uh, Fly Tying with Captain Quinn. I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite fly ties of all time. Uh, trout, steelhead, salmon. So let's get started. This is the first episode, so you should get excited if you're not already. We're going to tie a woolly bugger. A pink woolly bugger. Now woolly buggers uh, originated in 1967 apparently, according to a quick fact check through Wikipedia, by a guy named Russell Blessing. And you know what? It probably is the most effective, diverse fly. I'm gonna tie a pink version of it uh, for kind of fall, winter steelheading. And all you're gonna need is some pink marabou, some soft tackle, pink soft tackle, some white marabou, some silver tinsel, copper wire, and then some pink dubbing. It's a bastardization of the original woolly bugger, but, I mean, what isn't bastardized in fly tying today? So, it's effective. Um, we need a hook. A size 7 Daiichi. And I'm going to use some black thread. So, just going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start wrapping down the shaft of the hook. All the way down to the where the tail is going to start. And I like to stop, I like to make sure there's lots of hook for the fish. So I like to stop just past halfway down the shank. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a beefy, beefy tail. Now this is marabou, stolen from a pink flamingo, I think, somewhere in the Florida Keys. I'm gonna find, here we go, a nice hackle. I'm gonna take off the most bushy kind of part and I'm gonna put a big, fluffy, pink, bushy tail. Put a little bit on the top. And that should be good here. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Make it nice and full. Trim this excess off. And then now just to kind of round it out, I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna do, take the piece of the, the top of the marabou, and I'm going to give it a few wraps, just to make it nice, a nice full and bushy tail. In my opinion, you only need to worry about, people are tying all kinds of different colors, all kinds of different flies, for steelhead especially, and for trout, I mean steelhead or trout, you only really need to pick two colors, a dark color and a light color. My light color is pink, my dark color is purple. And then basically you can tie any single fly in the world in those colors uh, and be effective in catching fish. So now we're gonna, so that's the tail. The tail is pink marabou for this version of a woolly bugger. Then I'm gonna put the tag on and all that's gonna be is silver tinsel. I like to have a little bit of silver flash in these babies, catch a the fish's eye. Just a nice short little piece of silver tinsel. And I wrap that, and I want to keep the tinsel when I wrap it back on the underside of the hook, of the shank. Then I'm going to take a piece of copper wire for some ribbing, and as part of the tag, just break that off because I'm Hercules pretty much, and then I'll wrap that into place and that's going to give the fly just a tiny little bit of weight. I'll just wrap this excess tag around the shank of the hook. That's going to be covered in dubbing anyways. And then I'll wrap about halfway up the shank of the hook and I will take my tinsel and I'll start wrapping her up to form a tag on this fly. I'm going to rib it, rib it like a frog, you heard me. Make it nice and pretty. I'm gonna take some 
pink dubbing. I like to just break it apart, but I mean, it looks like the, the pubescent hairs of a pubic hairs of a clown, and that's that's good. That's what you're looking for, nice and textured. I like to break it apart, and then all I do, I don't even bother with dubbing loops. Dubbing loops are outdated and overrated. And I just kind of wrap it around the thread with my fingers. Rob Brown showed me this trick. And I just slide her up. And I wrap forward, back a bit, forward. And it gives a nice sparse. Um, look, the dubbing pops out everywhere. And I'm gonna beef up the top part of it a little bit, a little bit thicker so the hackle will be kind of draped over it. You'll see what I mean. Momentarily here. So there's the pink dubbing body and then I'm going to continue with the copper wire. Kind of beat down the dubbing a little bit. Finally, I'll tie off the copper wire. Boom. I'll just throw a little bit more dubbing on there to cover the copper because sometimes the copper, the little pointy end, can stick out and damage a bit of your hackle. I'm going to bury that with the dubbing. Push that back. Most woolly buggers, they'll be, uh, the body will be ribbed with a hackle, sort of a harder hackle. This version, the pink, the pink flamingo, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, piece of soft hackle here and then you'll see there's kind of, it looks a little bit well, the, the closer you get to the base of the feather, kind of the softer the hackle is. That's kind of the stuff I'm going to use here. Break it off. Peel a little bit. And then I'm just going to use about an inch of it. Two or three wraps at the most give it a nice sparse look. That should do. Trim off the tag. And then, nice and sparse. What I like to do is, you know, it's kind of flashy, it's pink. I fish this in the fall, winter, when the coho are in and spawning. And then I'll just take a little bit of white marabou, and I'll use that in place of a, a wing, kind of just to give it a little bit more of a eggy look. Plus it'll help the fly kind of swim better. I like to give her a few wraps. Just because I don't like it coming undone. You put a little bit of head cement on there and away you go. And I mean, you could use these in the spring too. It would look kind of like a prawn, kind of like row. You got the little silver in there, little flash, kind of like a little, you know, juvenile salmon going back to sea, kind of like a pink bug. I mean, this is more of an attractive fly, but it does kind of imitate 
uh, I guess a prawn or some uh, salmon roe. And uh, you can tie her in purple, black, brown, any color, but it's, it's super, super effective. So we're gonna, uh, the last, we're gonna give this fly away. So leave a comment below and uh, let me know what kind of fly you want me to tie next. We're also gonna take this out in a separate video and we're gonna put it in the field, put it to test in the field. I'll catch a fish with it, then I'll, uh, I'll give it away in a contest to one of you awesome, awesome fans. So leave a comment below, like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time for a different fly.